against Tua. All right. Here is our punch stat to give you an idea of how active these fighters are and their styles dictate exactly the kind of fighters that you see in those numbers. Tua is the busier fighter. Ruiz, however, throws a tremendous number of jabs. I don't recall a heavyweight who threw that many jabs. I'm not even sure Ali did. Rules of the bout with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. The David Tua and Johnny Ruiz fight is scheduled for 12 rounds. There is no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight, and you cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the last round. Jim. All right, thank you, Harold. Let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffett for the pre-fight intros. Gentlemen, by way of Bally's Park Place of Atlantic City, welcome to Atlantic City's Convention Hall, where tonight, main events, main events monitor in association with your undisputed undefeated king of beers budweiser this buds for you present an evening of professional boxing in the heavyweight division this card tonight is dedicated to the memory of dan duva all the bouts you see tonight are sanctioned by the new jersey state athletic control board boxing commissioner larry hazard senior chairman jerry gormley Board members Gary Shaw and Al Daniels. Deputy Commissioner John Greco. Our physicians at ringside are Dr. Frank B. Doggett. He's the chief physician. Attending physicians are Dr. Eric Wormser and Dr. Ronald Woods. The timekeepers tonight are Arthur Spell and Roosevelt Gilbert. This first bout is sanctioned by the World Boxing Council. Supervisor at ringside, Anibal Miramontes. The three judges scoring the contest will be Harold Lawrence. Barbara Perez and Jack Woodruff. And when the bell rings, the man in charge of the action, your referee, Tony Perez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC International Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black, trimmed with white letters, and weighing in at 225 pounds. He comes to us from Auckland, New Zealand, with a perfect record of 22 and 0. 18 KOs to his credit. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the undefeated challenger, David Tua. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white, trimmed with blue letters and weighing in at 219 pounds. His record an outstanding one, 25 victories with 17 KOs, only two defeats. He comes to us tonight from Chelsea, Massachusetts. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the WBC International Heavyweight Champion, John the Quiet Man Ruiz. To uh, Ruiz, you already in. give the instruction in the dressing room. Two things you must remember. Obey my commands at all times. And most important, protect yourself at all times. Any questions? Shake hands. Good luck to both of you. There's a lot of interest in Tua because he comes out of that, that fabulous school of, of Marciano and Fraser and Tyson, that type of fighter. But he's going up against the best school of the young heavyweights out there. Ruiz, who is a stablemate, incidentally, of Lennox Lewis. Hard left hand by Tua. Ruiz is rocked in the first 20 seconds of the bout. Down goes Ruiz. He takes a vicious left hand shot on the way down. And it's unlikely he'll be getting up. And Tony Perez says enough. Whoa. Well, Marciano. Tyson, let and me Tua. repeat that. <laughs> and, uh, and Tua. Well, I'm not ready to put Tua there yet, but that was sensational. That was some performance, and I mean, nobody has done that to Ruiz. And I'm telling you, the shot that Ruiz took on the way down was dangerous looking. Yes, it was. So you can see now the medical attention that is being given to John Ruiz. And Ruiz is moving. Tua, justifiably, is celebrating a knockout in less than 30 seconds. 
Maybe less than 20, I'm not really sure. Well, George? Well, what happens when you get in with a shorter guy like that, you automatically underestimate the reach. He's able to get down and lean in. And he's taller than you think, so he catches you on the end of those shots. And that's what happened the first time. He got caught on the end of one of those left. I don't know if you want to call it a hook, but it was a left. Yeah, Ruiz call it a hooker cut. Ruiz is in some distress here. The last shot was just... The referee couldn't do anything about right. it. it the action just quickly. got away from everybody. Right. It came too quickly while he was on his way down. Yeah, and normally what happens when a fighter reflexively throws at a guy who's going down like that, they usually miss. Because after all, you're going after a moving target. Yeah. It just happened that Tua landed about as flush as you can land. You have to have a lot of bravery as a referee. Right behind you, right, he's getting up. You know, this... This show is being shown down in New Zealand where it's 3 o'clock on Saturday afternoon, and uh, I imagine there are a few people down there celebrating. There's the first left hook, and it's interesting what you said, George, about a fighter like this doesn't look as tall as he really is because of the way his body is built. People have a hard time believing, for example, that Mike Tyson is 5'11", yet we measured him one time, and when he's standing upright, indeed he is around 5'11". So they, he did underestimate his reach. You think you stepped out of the range, but no, you have not. There's the, here's the punch that really did it, and that was a vicious, vicious punch. one more sickening look at the left hand shot that caught Ruiz flush on the chin as he was going down and we're just awfully happy that John Ruiz is up let's get the official particulars from Michael Buffer that's what we want to do that's what we want to do ladies and gentlemen at 19 seconds of the very first round referee Tony Perez waves off the 10 count and calls a halt to the bout the title changes hands. The winner and new WBC International Heavyweight Champion, still undefeated, David Tua. Well, George, what can you prove in 19 seconds? Well, now he's establishing himself now as a left hooker. <laughs> Every time he's out, you're going to scout him and all the fighters watch out for that left hook now it's on him now he'll never be able to escape it 